I'm gonna go out and see how the crops are doing. Do a little scouting. Well, let's see what's what we got here. Yeah, you know, I think this will do. Man, these beans are insane. I mean, I'm 6'2", and they're up to my belly button. Holy smokes. They are just loaded up. Put a lot of four bean pods down here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do what I call a count. I'm gonna estimate what the yield is right where I'm standing presently. So how I'm gonna do that, I got a tape measure. I'm gonna go one more row over here. I'm gonna come below the canopy. Now that we're down here, I got two 15 inch rows, even though it doesn't really look like a row, it just looks like a bunch of plants with pods. I'm gonna take my tape measure. I'm gonna measure out 21 inches. Now I get 21 inches in two 15 inch rows and that is one 10,000th of an acre. In my one 10,000th of an acre, I'm gonna pull the plants and then do a count and see what it comes back at. Okay, we got all of our plants pulled. I'm gonna grab our nice little bundle and try to walk through these stupid thick beans out of here. Now that I have all my plants, I gotta count every single pod. So I'm gonna get to that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what I got is 625 pods. And for pods, I would count anything that was at least a two beaner, that's considered a pod. And if it's a one beaner, I would not count it, but there was a quite a few fours in that. So what I do is I take my 625 and I multiply that by how many seeds on average. Well, there's some fours, there's some twos, mostly threes, so we'll go you could probably do three, but we'll be conservative and do 2.5 seeds per pod. And then you take that number, and then for a seed size, I'm not sure how that graph all works or whatnot, but I know that these seeds, this variety usually gives me a bigger seed, and I can see that they are really, really nicely filled out. So for an average to bigger seed size, I will divide this by 18. For a smaller seed size, I'll usually divide by 20. But this is on the bigger side, more than average. To divide that by 18, that gives us a yield estimate of 86.8 bushels per acre right here, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I believe it though. These beans, I mean, granted, I did kind of pull up to one of the nicer parts of the field here. I'm going to admit to that. But still, if this low spot can do, it said 86, just say 80, and the hill can do 60, we got ourselves a bumper crop. We're gonna go up and look at a cornfield now. This year has just been weird though. We started out and we planted into just perfect moisture. I mean, we were just dry enough to where the drills would run perfect, the planter would run perfect, but we were getting stuff into moisture. So, I mean, the year just started out awesome. And then we finished seeding in nine days, got everything pounded out and all in. June came and we were hot. We were hot and dry. Stuff kind of came out of the ground. Some stuff didn't want to come out of the ground, sat in the ground for a while. And it was starting to look pretty pathetic. We were hot, dry, and just nothing would grow. And then all of a sudden we'd catch just a little bit of a rain. Kind of kept us going. And then we got a big rain at the end of, middle to end of June there. I'm like, oh, perfect. This is gonna carry us out for so long. And then it got dry again and July just stayed super cool and we couldn't get a rain, couldn't get a rain. And then the end of mid July came around right when we really need it and everything got hot. We went for about a week, I would say, with it hot and everything's starting to burn up and looking like our crop's gonna be gone. Just, you know, a normal year. All of a sudden we started catching little rains again. Get another 20 hundreds, get another 30 hundreds. And that kept them plants alive, kept them going. And then finally we just got a giant rain and lots of heat and everything just took off and just kept going to town. I mean, the corn looks beautiful this year. As you saw them beans back there, 86 bushel beans. If you know anything about soybeans, that's one hell of a crop. I don't think we're gonna farm average that. That was a really good part in the field, but you know what I mean. But yeah, somehow we carried through it. It, it was touch and go for quite a while, but now everything's looking really good. I am super, super excited for harvest. Typically we don't raise this big of a crop. I mean, this is definitely one in 15 years for us, for sure. I think this is gonna be the biggest crop we've ever had. It's just really exciting. I cannot wait to get in them combines and see what the yield monitors actually say for a crop out there. Like, oh, I just, I wish it was here already, but we've still got 
probably three weeks away, close to a month. And hopefully we can start poking some fields. They're turning quick though. Where I was there, that was not turning yet, but I mean, we're a week away and that's gonna be pretty yellow. Them pods are really filled out on that thing. And most other fields are yellow already. To put into perspective for you guys, how good of a crop this year really is compared to previous years. Last year, we would have considered ourselves a fair to good bean crop like we did we were happy with it and last year we farm average 30 so this year is going to be substantially better let's go look at some corn we're gonna go in and get off the end rows here and we're gonna do a count here oh we finally made it i'm down below the canopy so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take the tape line we're gonna measure out 17 and a half feet which is right about there it so this plant we gotta get now we gotta go along and count every harvestable ear in this 17 and a half feet that's gonna figure out my population this plant's got a tiller on it with a little cob but i'm not gonna count that as a harvestable ear so one two three four five six nine ten eleven twelve fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty three twenty four we have 25 harvestable ears now what i like to do is go roughly to the middle ish of my um 17 and a half feet and most people grab cobs three six and twelve just to be random and even what i like to do is grab three cobs side by side like all in a row so right here i got three cobs easy to grab i'm in the middle i'm gonna grab all three of these cobs now i'm gonna do a count so I did a count length by round, put that in my calculator. So it's 512 on my first cob. So our next one, we gotta remember 512. Our next one was 18 by 30, 540. So that cob was the exact same as the last one. So I'm gonna add all the kernels between all three cobs up and then divide that by three, cause I had three cobs. So on an average, we had a 539 kernel cob 539 which is my average cob size in my 17 and a half feet i would say close to it i take that times my population which was 25 harvestable years and that gives me a very large number with a lot of other numbers take that for a seed size i could probably go down to somewhere in the 80s but average is typically 90 so i'm just going to do 90 to be a little bit conservative and we got uh, 149 bushel corn here, the way it looks. If we did do an 80, say them kernels are huge, we'd have 168. Yeah, that's a pretty darn good corn crop for us too. The beans are really gonna shine this year though, but there's no complaining with the corn either. And now this field, I didn't go to the nicest area of the field. I just went to the field. Walking through corn is complicated. Harvest is coming guys, like that corn plant's done. That cob is full dent. I mean, it feels pretty hard too. Uh oh, I don't like that. I came off there awful easy. Them are starting to dry down. We're gonna make it. I mean, this whole weekend we're in the 90s and upper 80s and that's gonna dry down this corn a lot. I mean, we're done. It's still green as ever corn, but that cob's done. Filled out to the end. That's not the biggest cob in the world, but I'm not complaining. This year is gonna be fun. I, I just can't wait. I wish it was here. I love harvest. It's so exciting. There's so much going on. Who doesn't love running a combine? Oh, and we finally got a big crop. I mean, this is the first time in forever. Thank the Lord for all the rain right when we needed it. That's the thing too. Like we didn't get more rain than we normally do. It's just, we're getting it when we need it. We're not getting five inches in May when we're trying to seed and now it's not gonna rain the rest of the year. We got little bits at a time right when we needed it. And I do think it's up a little bit from the past few years. Oh, I'm just so excited. I mean, a giant crop. We don't live in perfect country where it's just perfect soils. We got a lot of sands. We got a lot of gravels. We just don't get a lot of rain. And it's really cold here. We don't got much of a growing season. Our first frost is coming up here, I'm thinking. Two weeks maybe i just i wish harvest was here now can we just take wet green crops like does that work i'm gonna go home and get back to work now i'm really excited for harvest i i hope you guys are too i'm hoping to film a whole bunch get a bunch uploaded see you next time thanks for watching